Yo, you already know what it is, man. It's your boy Dom Work, man. And look, I know it's getting late in the year, and we only got about like three more months left of 2K23. But y'all know me, I don't care, man. If I got an idea for a build, I'm gonna go ahead and make it. And with this build right here, I wanted to take one of the least valued attributes in the game, max it out, and see what kind of difference it would make on my gameplay. And at the same time, I wanted to create a great all-around scoring guard build, something like a Kyrie Irving type of build. And I kind of had a build like that in my sharpshooting shot creator build, which I dropped a couple months ago, but that build obviously didn't have the right ball handle on it, so I couldn't get certain dribble moves and things like that. So with this build right here, I got the elite shooting, I got elite ball handling, I got good enough passing. It's not elite passing, but it definitely gets the job done. And on top of that, a lot of people might claim a build is not an elite finisher if it can't dunk but with this build right here i beg to differ now from the jump of 2k23 everybody was saying you know you don't need speed with ball but me personally i said yo to each his own y'all could do whatever you want to do and obviously you know some people are getting away with it they feel fine without it and that's cool i've done it too i made builds of 75 and yes you can get away with it it's fine but i promise you when you're out there on a build with a high speed with ball depending on how you play the game you may feel a difference but a few people were saying yo there ain't no difference bro it's broken speed with ball doesn't matter you could leave it at a 25 you'd be okay and things like that and that's just absurd and i'm gonna show y'all a clip right here and i'm gonna let y'all be the judge and look if you can't see the difference you can damn sure hear it Now, if you paid attention, you can see where the acceleration is doing the work and then where the speed with ball kicks in. And on the 75, you can see he kind of slows down when he gets close to half court, but the 97 just kind of keeps going. And that's pretty much what I've been preaching all year. Yeah, you might not feel it as much in the half court and if you're just a left right person, but if you're a downhill player, if you like getting out on the brakes and things like that, you're definitely going to notice a difference. And I'm going to talk more about that in a second, but look, let me get into this build real quick and show y'all what I got. So y'all already know we're going to go point guard, right hand, whatever number you want, doesn't matter. 6-1 on the height, 160 on the weight, 6-8 wingspan, and whatever body type you want, doesn't really matter. And as far as the finishing goes, as you can see, we're going with an 87 close shot and an 89 driving layup. Now, like I said earlier, a lot of people believe that if your build can't dunk, then it can't be considered a reliable finisher at the rim. But if you follow my channel, man, you know that for the past couple 2Ks, I've been doing no job and dunk builds, and I have no problem finishing at the rim, bro. But you will need to be a little bit more crafty with your attempts and a little bit more selective as well. And as you can see, I like resorting to the floaters and the runners and things like that. So yeah, you can't just run to the rim and press X and, you know, get bailed out. You kind of got to be crafty with it. And I feel like that just comes with small guard gameplay in general like everything you do you got to be a little bit more crafty with it to be successful and look i'm not gonna lie and say that the floaters work every time because sometimes you might miss some that you feel you should make but look i miss dunks with a 96 job and dunk as well wide open dunk so that's just 2k for you man you just got to take it and live with it and of course with the 89 job and layup you're getting that gold acrobat gold fearless gold slithery hall of fame giant slayer so you should have no problem finishing at the rim to be honest with you now for the shooting we went with the 88 midi and the 88 three ball and i know what y'all thinking y'all like yo bro why wouldn't you just go get the 89 three ball so you can get gold agent three and the reason i did it like that was because i was prioritizing speed on this build and i wanted to have my excel and my speed with ball as high as it could go and if i wanted to get that gold agent three i was gonna have to load one of them and i didn't really want to do that so it is what it is and besides by now y'all should know that so the agent three is really good so as long as i got my gold blinders i'm straight as far as shooting goes now as far as the playmaking goes as you can see we're going with the 80 pass accuracy a 92 ball handle and the 97 speed with ball so at this point man y'all know the pass accuracy you're good anywhere from 75 and up and the 92 ball handle is going to get you all the dribble moves in the game but the big question is is this 97 speed with ball even worth it and I'm gonna get into some gameplay examples and explain where I think it shines the most. But for the takeovers on this build, as you can see, you get shot creator, sharp, and playmaking and take. And the other cool thing about this build is that it has a pretty rare title. I don't really see these very often, but as y'all can see, when you go through with the build, it's gonna be called a scoring machine. Now, as far as whether speed with ball is worth it or not, 
just like every other attribute in the game is going to come down to your play style and what you like to do out there on the floor so at this point we all know that your first couple steps is more based on your acceleration and then everything after that is based on your speed with ball so because they program the game that way technically speaking you're not going to have many instances in the half court where your speed with ball is going to be shown clearly now personally i feel like my high speed with ball guards they just move different even in the half court but it could be placebo so i don't want to speak too much on that and you know try to deem anything a fact but the one place where you can't deny the difference is in the fast breaks in the open court or even when you're just bringing the ball up and you know you got a lockdown trying to press you or something like that it makes it much easier to beat presses and just get the ball up the court and i don't know for sure yet i'm still doing some tests and things like that but i feel like it also has an effect on your hyperdrive and your moving dribble moves and things like that too because look like i said i can't put my finger on it but when i'm on these bills compared to my 75 speed with ball bills like my 90 speed with ball my 97 speed with ball bills they just feel a little bit different now check this clip out right here as you can see i get the steal and i'm out on the break and look how i just fly by everybody and again right here i get another steal and i'm out on the break look at this dude trying to reach at me he's reaching out a ghost i'm long gone so to make a long story short man this is what we already know half court you might not notice as much of a difference but if you're a player that likes to push the tempo get out on the fast breaks and things like that you're definitely gonna notice a big difference with a higher speed with ball build now there's still a few things that i'm gonna test and experiment with but if i do find anything out i'll be sure to post it on twitter or maybe do an update video but before i get out of here let me get into these badges and the six that i'm running on this build so when it comes to the finishing badges man i got just about everything i need the only thing i'm really missing would be gold fast twitch but as you can see i'm a core gold slithery put four in a giant slayer then i'll be able to have three extra to run fast twitch on bronze and that's going to help him when i drive to the rim and you know get them up in the air with a pump fake or something like that and i want to go back up with it it's better than having no fast twitch at all and then for the shooting this is a shot creator build so you already know i gotta have my space creator my blinders bitty magician and all that and if you're on a small guard and you're not running dead eye try it out man i promise you it'll make your life a lot easier but once i core gold blinders and put six back into agent three and then the one extra badge point i might put it on mini magician or space creator and run both of them on hall of fame or one of them on hall of fame now when it comes to the playmaking badges man as you can see i put most of my extra badge points if not all of them all into my playmaking so in total i got 32 playmaking badges man so that gives me a lot of freedom to run whatever i want to run and i just peeped that i cored gold clamp breaker so now i got an extra badge point i probably put it on an ankle breaker or something like that but once i unlock silver bailout that's probably where i'm really going to use the badge point at now keep in mind for some of these six you're going to need at least a 90 speed with ball and a 92 ball handle but other than that man let me know what y'all think about the build in the comments let me know if you got a build with a high speed with ball and if you think it's worth it for you and your play style and look if you want follow me on twitter man be sure to give me a follow over there at be like dom and y'all already know what it is man stay up and i'm gonna catch y'all in the next one